Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how y'all doing today? Today is April 25th, 2021, and we got a just a little quick video here of the little micro guy. There's a reason why this guy is coming out. I'm going to go ahead and give him a little upgrade, pull him out, set him over here. Oops, he's out of camera shot with something. But let's just set him here. Whatever. Anyways. What we have here is a 2010 Lego Star Wars set, Clone Wars 8098, the Clone Turbo Tank. This was the largest of the three models, the Playscale models that Lego has produced. This was one off of eBay. It does have both instructions, including it doesn't have it didn't got, come with any of the figures. It did have the builds. Uh, it is missing a large number of parts. In fact, here is the list of parts. We're missing two one by two dark red towels, light gray slope, translucent dark gray black back clips, light uh, gray cheese slopes, round studs, a 3L or possibly a 4L might fit a small radar disc, and multiple towels throughout the build. So, I have had to do a little bit of creative work to even assemble it. Um, it's kind of big. I'm going to back it up a little bit. It does have this handle, which retracts. It's kind of cool. You can also push it down into the build. Um, there's supposed to be a radar dish here and another stud here. Um, missing two of these lights that go down here on the chin. And there's a number of hidden spots here there that have been sort of just rigged together. And plus, I'm missing two red tiles here. It goes here and here on top, two by four, two by two, I mean, two by two um, tiles. All right, let's take a look at this guy. I do like the fact it's spring loaded down here. So, she does actually have suspension. Pretty cool build. Um, this cab opens on the front. And we've set a gunner in here. And we're now going to set our minifigure. From a, our micro build here. We'll leave him a little pistol. Close these guys up. There we are. And in the back here, we could put a, we want to probably put a gunner here. And then inside of here, there is seating for two more guys. There we are, right down in here, two seats. Um, I'll put two guys back in here. I'll put another gunner on top, I guess, and uh, go from there. There's nothing really reachable within this build here. And there's really nothing, there's just Technic down inside of here. Um, there's where some of the cheese slopes go. Has these cool little latches here. When you open these up, you get this little transit um, build comes out and it, see that it actually tracks in there. There's a second build with weapons, which is pretty cool. But the really amazing part on the other side, it's about the same way. Lift it up. And this is a little walker, which uh, hinges in there. Pretty cool little build, actually. You got the little walker, and you got these other builds. You got this open area, I guess. Some people will sometimes put decking in here so you can put more figures in. It does have a little mini storage area here. Almost just like little oven pieces. Let's store something inside of here. And it does have the uh, printed towel here for control panels. You can see the Technic inside of here. Yeah. This right here is substitute. This should be a 
this color right here, but I'm not too worried about. And other things like there's a single gray pin here, which should be black. I think I'll go ahead and replace that with the correct one. But uh, looks pretty good. Anyways, let me know and comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you like the big turbo tank build or or no. I think it's an impressive build and I like the way the wheels are made. I like the overall look of it. This uh, closure design is pretty cool. See the tile's correct on this side. This is a, the better side, shall we say. Anyways, with that in mind, uh, let me know what you think. Thank you for the subscriptions and the thoughts and the support of the community out there. Big addition for the old clone army, eh? Anyways, y'all take care of yourselves out there. Stay safe. Ciao.